productivity, life, leadership, parenting, <laughs> tangents that we get from our audience. So if you are listening on our, one of our podcast channels, um, we go live every workday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook and YouTube. So come join us in the comments over there. We'd love to get to know you via digital family, via, via digital communication i don't even know how that works yeah that wasn't part of my script i just threw that in there you know Lindsay's just making up stuff today i am i just i'm really do the makeup you know do the makeup yep well <laughs> we are thankful for our sponsor social media torch they create content on purpose for a purpose to help you solve seo email and digital marketing social media so learn more at www.socialmediatorch.com good morning nick Good morning, Lindsay. <laughs> Good morning, family, digital family of choice. How are y'all doing today? Thank you guys for joining us this morning on the Coffee and Cookies Morning Show. Mm -hmm. where today we're going to talk about a little bit of life, a little bit of parenting. We have a little bit of business, too, that we're going to talk about I towards the this. end. Yes. You know, especially since it's not in the notes. So I figure, you I'm know, I just surprise you with this. So excited. Here we go. This. Are you ready? Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to put notes. <laughs> Talk about business. That's so helpful. Thank you. There you go. It's in the notes. You can't say it's <laughs> not in the notes. It's in the notes. I just uh -huh. put it in. Yep. So can I start with the story? I love stories. Can I start Let's with the story? It. Hold on. I get a little ch -ch -ch and a little ch -ch -ch -ch. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure everyone loves my sound effects. They love it. That's why they watch the show. That listen. is absolutely That's why, why they, they watch the show. It's for the, it's for the, the sound, sound effects. effects. Yeah. Right? Right. So, hey, if you're joining us on the podcast, come on over to Facebook and YouTube. Uh, this show is going to be interrupted uh, quite a bit by the comments that come in and take <laughs> us off on tangents. Tangents, I say tangents. Mm -hmm. So just one or two, just one, two or, or five thousand, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. So um, I have been working on. So Cassie, Cassie, if you're here joining us this morning, uh, I use. Oh, good morning, Nolan. Yeah, I thought I was going to switch sides, too. And then I was like, Lindsay, come on over. And she said, no. That is not how that happened. <laughs> That's Nick's version. That's a Nick a phrase. <laughs> Man. So, so I've, been, I've been working on creating some cold brew. Uh-huh. Because we spent a lot of money at Starbucks. It's like, <laughs> I need to figure this out. And uh, yesterday, I tried my cold brew, and it tasted horrible. Yeah. And I felt How bad. Today? I felt bad because Cassie bought me these grinds from Summer Moon, oh. which smelled amazing. Yeah. And I was like, oh my goodness. I epically just wasted like half the bag making cold brew and it tastes so bad. And then I tasted it this morning. You didn't and let it. It is so good. You didn't let it sit long enough. Oh my goodness. It is so good. Like I was like, oh, I'm only going to do half of my container full of cold brew because it's not going to taste good. And I took a sip and I was like, oh. <gasps> This is amazing. So and how I'll, long did you make, did you take notes? How long was it? 24 stewing? hours. Okay. 24 hours. So I, so I'm, I'm going to let it sit through the rest of today's work day and then I'm going to pull out the coffee grinds. Okay. And then how much coffee grinds to water? I, I did one scoop to one cup. How much is a scoop? Oh, I did one. Is it, what's the big spoon? Good morning, dad. A tablespoon. A ta so I did one tablespoon, one heaping tablespoon okay. to one cup. Okay. And I let it sit for now would be uh 36 hours okay so by the by this afternoon it'll be 48 hours you'll have to test it again because 48 hours might be too long well and there it we might go, be right? that sweet spot there of we go. 36 hours so and and this is summer moon coffee grinds which no they're not sponsoring the show we need to talk to them about sponsoring the show because i'm talking <laughs> about them on the show right like hey can you tag them in the comments uh, somewhere totally, in there yeah like totally. hey summer, summer moon, moon we're talking yeah. about you today yeah. we got tag cassie you'd be like cassie we're talking about you today too we're just gonna start <laughs> hey if, if you guys show up and you're not in the show then we're just gonna start tagging you in the comments be like hey we're talking about you <laughs> right actually right? facebook doesn't like it when you do that <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> They might not be too happy. They with us. might not be too happy. We <laughs> want to keep Facebook happy. So it's actually really good. Like I'm very happy today with this. Good. I'm good. sad I didn't fill up my entire Your entire cup. Yeah. That is sad. 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 Yeah. More to dad, how are you working today? It's raining. So my if you don't know, my dad owns a lawn care business. It is not raining outside. Oh, it's gonna be raining. Oh. And it is raining in other places, just not right outside my window. Did you did you look at the ground <laughs> the this morning? The one spot I can see. <laughs> yeah, the one the one little spot. Like you can't judge the entire rest of what's going on in Prosper I, by that window. I can not. Do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, are we really going to have this debate? <laughs> 
And Nick yeah. almost went on a tangent. So yeah. Nolan, I owe you a phone call, brother. You called me at seven thirty last night, and I, I I missed it because my youngest one, I put her to bed, mm-hmm. and she woke up very angry. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but she w- she's got some teeth coming in though, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah. So Nolan was calling as I was running up the stairs to go. Aww. Take care of little Sydney Squish. So, Nolan, I do owe you a phone call. That's you will get so your funny. phone call today. Uh, my best friend called me yesterday, too, and I was in the middle of a Bible study. <laughs> how did that go? How did, how did a Bible study go? It was really good. Yeah? It was really good. Yeah, it was so funny. Um, so I didn't I didn't volunteer voluntarily sign up for this Bible study. I was voluntold I was told <laughs> that I was You were voluntold. Take, I was voluntold. You were voluntold by whom? Uh Marianne Gregory. She's oh. leading this Bible study. I love her. She's amazing. Yeah. So, She's fiery. She is very fiery. Yes. Yep. Gary can attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> She was talking about like sharing a little bit about her uh, at our first Bible study last night. And she's mm-hmm. like, you know, three of my kids turned out like me and one turned out kind of like Gary. And so like we're a little. Um, what was the word she used? Like a little pushy. I think she said pushy, but it was it was hilarious. So, yes, mm-hmm. yes. To the hilariousness of being yeah. pushy. Yeah. Mm, OK. But it there was you funny, go. So. And she even called it out last night. She's Good like, morning, and, some sweet of wife. You, and some of you were, did not even sign up and I made you come. So thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I still love you. <laughs> still love you, but you yes. know, I'm just a little growly, yes. a little growly it's today. It's going to be good. I'm, I'm choosing to have a positive attitude about being voluntold to be in a Bible study. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Let's hear it. You're there for a reason. I am. You're there for I a am. reason. Yes. You may not, you're. Your whole goal is to figure out that reason. It is. And learn something from it. Yes. Like lock in that growth mindset. Yes. Do it. I am. Lock it in. Trying. (laughs) Trying. (laughs) I love the honesty here. I am trying. Yes. Yes. I mean, I I know that there's going to be something good. There's always something good. If you're looking for the good. You'll see the good. There you go. And if you're looking for the bad, you're going to see the bad. There you so go. I am choosing to be open to the good. and. But you're still looking at the bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on my selfish side of things of like, you know. You know, it's funny. It's funny. You know, when, 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 I, when I did Freedom last mm-hmm. year, um, I was like, I don't know if I really want to go. Mm-hmm. And Amber said... Amber, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna nick a phrase this. I'm gonna nick a phrase this. What Amber said. Everything is nick a phrase. Nick a phrase. She said, "It's not you're you're not going there for you to learn. You're going there to teach someone else." Mm. And uh, Amber, if you remember exactly, because my wife has a way better memory than I do, mm-hmm. and she probably knows exactly verbatim. So, sweetheart, if you want to drop that in the comments, you know, by all means, please feel free. I'm not gonna feel called out or anything so at all. Yeah. Amber, I think it's so funny that you said that because I'm pretty sure I said that to Nick as well about that no, same Bible study. No, <laughs> lies. Man, that's what happens here. You just you, you get so many women, you know, telling you what to do things in your life, and you just ah, mm-hmm. no, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, you want to, that is it is actually fun. Like I'm really curious what our fourth is going to be. If we're going to have another girl or another, or we're going to have a boy. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting. The reason why I bring this up is this pregnancy has been very different for Amber. Mm-hmm. And I have very much people that are like, oh, this is a boy. Right. Like they're very, very locked down this boy. And yeah. the other side is very locked down. Oh, this is a girl. Right. Right. Like, sorry, Nick, you're not having boys. Like, it's a girl. And it just it's so funny to hear the different sides of mm-hmm. things, because the first three was like, oh, you know, yes, whatever. You know, whatever God wants to bless you with. But this time, people that come out of the woodwork, like, this is what it shall be. Right. I'm like, you have no control, but thank you for your words. <laughs> thank you for confusing my brain. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That is something. Mm, I almost went down a different direction. Yeah. We're not going to go down that road. Yeah. Not going to go down that yeah. road. So, hey, hey, you want to know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop this link in the comments. What's the link? It, this is a link that you found. So oh, I'm going to let yes. you talk about it. I'm going to let you talk. Okay. I'm going to do the technology thing. And drop links in the comments for you <laughs> while you do the Chitty McChattens. Okay, so I found this article about being more effective as a parent, and it gives you nine steps, right? So I was like, huh, 
I wonder how they how aligned they are with what I've learned and what Nick's influence has helped me learn. <laughs> um because we talk about parenting on this show, right? A lot. A lot. A lot. And it was just interesting you, people, to me. People need to be taking notes. When we talk about parenting? Yes. Yeah. So um, it was interesting to me about what would, what are, what does secular, what does secular parenting tips look like versus, you know, kingdom based leadership focused parenting look like? Um and it's, it's good. Like there's nine steps and the biggest one that caught me off guard was actually number nine. Wait, well, hold on, hold I on, know. hold on. There's nine steps. Go yes. ahead and review the nine steps. Number one is boosting your child's self-esteem. Speak positive over them. Number right. two is catch your kids being good. Not only catch your kids being good, just when they're being good, acknowledge, acknowledge yeah. your kids being good. So the, and we got to work on that terminology. Number so the three first, is the first thing that it says in that section is, have you ever stopped to think how many times you react negatively to your kids in a given day? And it makes you like, really think about that. Like how many times when you have an interaction with your kid, is it negative or positive? In my household, we're probably in 80, 20, it's 80% positive, 20% negative. Okay. But I mean, that's my love language, right? My love language is words of affirmation. Okay. And that's a huge part of it too. Is like, how do you show love? And is that how you're, yeah, we're not getting there yet. Well, no, no, we're here, not going to get yeah, into yeah. that today. But, but here we go. Wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on. In the comments, love language, your kids. Yeah. Love language, because, your kids. Because I know, I know that words of affirmation is important because that's the way I, but my London, mm -hmm. it's physical touch. Mm -hmm. It's snuggling her. Yeah. Like that, that's where she I've, loves a good hug. I, and, and that's where I've learned. Like when kids are, you, we have the hungry, tired, need time alone. Mm -hmm. The fourth one I've added to that is hugs. Well, I don't know if I would do hugs. Maybe it's not just hugs. Maybe it's their love link. Like maybe their love cup is empty. You again, know what I mean? yeah, like, again, yeah, so for but London, still it's hugs for Isla. Would it be the same? So again, I don't know, but when, when we, when we talk about the four, why mm -hmm. is your kid acting negative towards you? Why is your kid giving you pushback? Mm -hmm. Why is your kid having a bad attitude? Right. We normally say that it's, they're tired. Mm -hmm. They're hungry. They need some alone time, but it, but for some people that alone time, it's actually the opposite. They need some attention. Mm hmm. So that, that's where that's where I'm adding that in. Attention sure. and or hugs. Sure. Okay, so let's keep going. So number two. Number three, number three is three. set limits and be consistent with your discipline. Your five steps of discipline. Mm -hmm. Good. Keep going. Make time for your kids. That's Ernesto. Make sure that you have dedicated yeah. time for your kids in your schedule. This one is a doozy. Be a good role model. Perfect. I got that <laughs> locked down. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. How are you fitting in this room with my ego right now? I don't, I don't know. Good thing these walls are like pliable. Otherwise I'd break something. But, but seriously, like this is actually good. It's like how many don't you hear it all the time? Do as I say, not as I do. Mm -hmm. Well, that don't work. Okay. <laughs> all right. Keep going. Number six is make communication a priority. Mm hmm. And not kids can't expect you can't expect kids to do everything simply because you as a parent say so. I love that. I love that that is their underlying like it's not just because I said so do it because I said so or this is because I said so like take the time to explain to your kids. As a parent, if I hear you do that drop. <laughs> Just drop and start doing push-ups. <laughs> like seriously, if that if that is if that is your like, and don't get me wrong, I'm I'm completely guilty of this, mm -hmm. right? Like sometimes I just need you as I just need you as a kid to listen to me. I need you to just trust me. So that's actually something I'm working on with London right now. Mm -hmm. I need you to trust me. Everything I tell you to do is for your benefit. Mm -hmm. Everything I'm telling you to do is to help you excel in life. Just trust me. Yes. But if you think about this from a business perspective, how many books out there, like there's one that says start with why. I can't think of who wrote it, but it's, it's people don't get told why they don't get explained why. So when you start with why you get their buy-in 
and they comply better. Absolutely. But I, I mean, Lennon's at the point where everything's why. Mm-hmm. Put your dishes in the sink. Why? Because we're honoring mommy by by doing that. <gasps> and, and exactly. Like, yeah. like here like, we go. The, the issue with the why is you don't have a prefabbed, you don't have a pre uh, prepared answer. Yes. So you feel called out. So therefore your defense mechanism kicks in and then you wind up snapping because at your that. kid <laughs> instead of actually answering their question. Yes. And I just totally had a revelation as I, as I said this. Let's hear it. That, that was the revelation oh. of you're, you're not, you're, you're, you, you, as a parent, now hear me on this, hear me, hear me on this. Yeah. You as a parent have so much stuff going on in your life that when your kid asks why you're not mentally prepped for it. So therefore you snap at the kid instead of actually just answering their question. Right. And yet, and yet we blame the schools for, 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 for destroying the creativeness within kids. Mm. Ah, I just struck a nerve. Okay. How many times have you heard, oh, our school's too rigid, our school's this, our school's not letting our kids be creative, when literally within your own household, you're not letting your kid create, you're not answering the question why, you're not letting them talk, you're not listening to their stories. Mm-hmm. You're over here blaming the school when real, the real issue, the real issue is inside your household. And I just had three different families run through my head where I'm actively seeing this happen. Is one of them mine because be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> is one of them mine? <laughs> wow, <laughs> a little bit of a guilty conscience there. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. One of them is not yours, but <laughs> but it's it is it is that right? We're over here t- mm-hmm. saying the schools are are destroying the creativity of our kids. Well, what are you doing inside your own household that could be destroying the creati- the creativity of? Th- the kids Mm -hmm. or are you creating an environment where they can expand on their 1% where they can expand on their creativity? Okay. So so real real quick bragging moment. And then then I'll let you take it. So then Amber's done in the kids, in the kids playroom is any of their artwork goes up on the wall Mm -hmm. and London It's actually going into your hallway. It's going, it's growing. (laughs) It's going into the hallway. And, and, but London knows that as she creates stuff, she has to take stuff down. Mm -hmm. So now it becomes of, Oh, Oh, what, what, what's a priority? Like she's learning different things. And mm-hmm. I'm not telling you that to brag. I'm telling you that to help give you an idea. Mm-hmm. Okay. When your kid asks why, take that deep breath, understand where they are mentally. They're not an adult. They're not asking. They maybe are asking why to be sassy. I'm not going to say that they're never, right. never. Right. But answer it. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe the reason why they're acting sassy to you is because they're so used to getting sassy when they get when they ask the question why. Mm. And if you feel called out right now, I just had a great idea. Okay, go. I'm listening. What you um, got? I'm like, I need to put my kids artwork up in their playroom. And because they're like, they always want to put it out in my living room and I love their artwork, but it just doesn't flow with my house decor. <laughs> So where can I, where can I showcase it? Right? Like I have certain things up in the, the main areas, but um, Mm -hmm. I was like, so how do I get it? Instead of putting tape all over everything, how do I be able to display it to like switch it out easily? And I was just thinking, I'm like, I'm going to hot glue clothespins or cute clothespins or whatever chip clips or whatever you like to the wall because hot glue doesn't damage paint. It'll just peel off. But it's strong enough. If you put enough on, it'll hold it. And you can just do clothespin. Clothespin their artwork up there. Love it. I'm just, I'm I, gonna do I that heard hot week. glue and I heard I paint. And I'm like, that doesn't go together. <laughs> that is going to absolutely rip off the paint. So no, I'm very, no, no, I'm, I, I am, I am, I am, I am not knowledgeable in this. Yeah. So I really hope this works for you. If it, it doesn't, we're going to have to repaint that wall when you go to sell your house. <laughs> um, one, two, but you, you, you had a point you wanted to make earlier. What was the point you wanted to make earlier? Oh, so I, oh, it was with Lexi. Um, she was getting into this habit of we would tell her to do something or we would, you know, ask, tell mm-hmm. her to do something. And it was no. I don't want to. And it, it was like, mm, that's not an acceptable answer. I can hear, answer. I can <laughs> can hear, hear her it, little right? voice in my head. I can even hear the, the tone. I can see the body language. No, I don't want to. <laughs> like For those of you that can't tell, he just like 
hitched his hip <laughs> when he did that. I did. I did because she's, she's such a little princess. She is, she's yeah. Like, I, I can just see that and so sweet about it. Yeah. So sweet about no, it. But still, it's, she's putting her foot to. down. Yeah, yes, I love it. She's putting her foot down. So I'm like... <laughs> Well, I don't want to squash her independence and her, right? So I'm like, how do I cultivate that into, like, it's okay to put your foot down, but not when mom and dad tell you or ask you to do something, like brush your teeth. Like, that's not an option. (laughs) So we got into this habit of, okay, well, if if that's what you want to say, this is what I need you to say instead. Like, and it was, do I have any other options? Mm, starting th- that's that growth mindset right yeah yeah <laughs> brushing so, your teeth you really don't <laughs> like, i'm like well your option is you can brush your teeth now or you can do it after we read a story so like giving her and it like is it a big deal to read a story first and then brush your teeth no like but it's giving her the the starting point of oh okay well i have to brush my teeth either way but it's giving it on her time. Like you can either do it now or you can do it after we read a story. When are you going to choose to do it? You're you're giving her ownership of the, you're giving her ownership of the decision. Yes. Now, is there ever a time where you actually just do put your foot down and say, Lexi, this is a non-negotiable. You're brushing your teeth now. Yes. Okay. So, and, and, and I, I just, FYI, I knew the answer Lindsay was going to give me before I asked the question. I absolutely knew it. Right. Our, our families do life together. I knew yeah. the answer. The reason why I wanted you to say that on camera. Okay. And with our audience here is because they need to know that sometimes you need, sometimes allowing the kid to take ownership is one thing. And sometimes mm-hmm. you need to just, you need to put your foot down. No, Lexi, we're brushing our teeth. Now Tristan's doing it. The family's doing it. We're brushing our teeth. Now right. you're joining in. Like, mm-hmm. it, and that's parenting. That's the balance of parenting. Are you always going to get it right? No, no, but there's the balance, right? You can't go, oh, my kid's going to make every, my kid just gets to make all the decision that gets to take extreme ownership of everything. And mm-hmm. here we go. And you can't be always putting my foot down and never allowing them to grow yes. that, that skill set. So I love what Gary, I'm going to go back one. So yep. Amber, yes, our girls love the art wall and Gary, that's great. He has a gallery in his closet. Mm-hmm. right it's like a flip chart that's awesome yeah. and if you don't know where these comments are these comments are on facebook and youtube so if you're watching come on over on facebook and youtube Ooh, dustin actually has a comment over here on youtube we encourage kids to ask if they have other options so so dustin's agreeing with you so dustin yeah. is Lindsay's husband and he's yes. actually in the comments on youtube right now saying yes they encourage their kids Morning, to ask mm-hmm. yes there you go that's what you want if, you, if you're a parent that's what you want okay so hold on we're all we only got to number six yeah, let's let's finish this so number seven is be flexible and willing to adjust your parenting style which oh my I gosh feel like we just talked we about just this. talked about i did not plan <laughs> that that was so good of us though high five us high five <laughs> All right. Um, and then number eight is show that your love is unconditional. Oh my, how, this is an amazing list. Okay. It number is. nine, know your own needs and limitations as a parent. Love that. Yeah. That's the one love I don't that. do the greatest at. <laughs> Elaborate. Okay. Okay. No. So here we go. Here we go. Right. Love your kids unconditional. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Every parent gets that. We want to love our kids unconditionally. Does life get into, does life get in there? And sometimes we, we struggle with that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's a reason. There's a reason why cute sayings are on babies. It's not for the baby. It's for the adult. Right. Have you ever noticed that? No. Say that again. Like like, like the little cute sayings on babies, like I'm on on my daddy's favorite or mommy loves me. Uh I guarantee you when the baby's screaming, you're reading that going, I do love this kid. I do love this kid. I do love this kid. (laughs) It's a reminder for the parents. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is so funny. The, have you oh have you never gosh. thought of it that way? No. Yes, never like I, of it sometimes that way. like uh Sydney was <laughs> Sydney was just she was yelling at me. She had lungs. She was yelling she, at me. She yeah. was growling at me. She was yelling at me. She's my youngest one. I think she's 18 months or 19 months now. Yeah. I'm sure Amber will, will will fix me in the comments. And she was growling at me. And when I'm she like, was like weeks old. 
<laughs> no, no, no. This was like two weeks ago. Oh, okay. This was two weeks ago. She was <laughs> yelling at me. And I was like, she had this little cute quote on there. I'm like, oh, I love this child. I love this child. I love this child. I love this child. Oh, why are you yelling at me? I've given you donuts. I've given you milk. I've changed your diaper. Uh-huh. I've given you blankie. Mm-hmm. I've laid you down in bed. I don't know why you're crying. I'm thinking everything in my head. I'm like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I love this kid. I love this kid. I love this kid. <laughs> The mo- it's a mantra for the parents. <laughs> it's a mantra for the parents. <laughs> but oh, seriously, like, funny. like parenting is is sometimes so stressful. Like, yes, you love that kid unconditionally, but right now, oh my goodness, I just want to gently lay you down in your crib and walk away. Mm-hmm. And, and sometimes, sometimes you need needed. to. Sometimes you need to. <laughs> And there you go. That goes into number nine. Know Mm -hmm. your limitations. Mm. I am. uh, There was another time I was again. She was just yelling at me and I'm getting frustrated. I'm feeling the frustration build. Mm -hmm. And Amber walks up and she's like, let me take it. And I'm like, no, I want to fix the situation. And I didn't. I walked away. Mm -hmm. I walked away and took care of the other two kids. And it was just. I'm so glad that Amber walked up because I'm, I'm getting, I don't know why, but the, when this, that screaming is like that perfect pitch. You know, it's in your mind. It's right? in your like. mind. <laughs> <sighs> I love that tiny. I love that tiny so, so much. I think this actually, this last one, no, 18 your months. Thank you, sweetheart. As a parent kind of fits into what Nick was talking about yesterday as like, where do you, own like own where you're at in life right there you go watch yesterday's episode yeah own where you're at in life and it says in in this article it says um vow to work on your weaknesses well how do you know what your weakness is if you don't assess where you're at and take ownership of it and understand like you don't need to have a a approved certified assessment Mm -hmm. like Look at that relationship. Am I good at disciplining my kids? Mm, I could work on that. Okay. Am I good on loving on my kids? You know, mm-hmm. before we got before we started the show, I, I gave you a quote that 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 I had read that said, "Stop binge watching Netflix and start binge watching your kids. Mm-hmm. Get off your phone and start watching your kids." Mm-hmm. Right. And and it, it just it hit me so hard because. And I've gone down this rabbit hole before. I'm not going to do it in this episode right now. But you see it. You see the car- the parents more engaged with the devices than they are with their kids. And the kids are watching. Yeah. Right? So, and, and maybe maybe that's a weakness for you. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm not, I'm not saying it's not. But if, if you, when you start to define things like that, oh, I need to work on discipline. I need to work on attention. I need to work on snuggles. I need to work on what can you work on. But I'm great at this. Yeah. Right. After you figure out what you what, what, what you need to work on, it's almost like a pros con, a yes. pro con list. Right. What 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 are my cons? What where are my weaknesses? Yeah. What are my pros? What am I great at? And don't forget to acknowledge that you're great at things because you are great at. Things. I am great at diaper changing. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> picking out outfits. Not so much. That you know, is my wife's so forte. Funny. That's my husband's forte. Like I am not the person. Like I can make it match, but my Dustin. husband walks in and he's like, "Oh yeah, let's put this and this." Together. I'm like, I never would have put those two things together. Right? <laughs> see, see, there you go. Like, like if if, if, you, if you need like a two dad combo for for babysitting, yeah. Dustin got the outfits. Yeah. Nick's doing the diaper changing. <laughs> Okay. I'm sure Dustin's all over that. He's like, diapers? Yes, please. You can take, take those. <laughs> but, like, it's so funny. We, we were, when, when Sydney was born, um, the, the nursing people brought in these, these students, and, and the nurse asked me, like, ask, mm, excuse me, the nurse asked me, um, hey, would it be okay if the students changed your baby's diaper? So I'm standing over there, like, over them, like, this is my brand new baby. Like, mm-hmm. sure, go ahead. Right. Right. And I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. <laughs> and and the first person tries and then they are, I mean, they're, I didn't realize that I'm that scary, but oh, I was yeah. very scary at this point yeah. in time. I don't know what, maybe it's because I hadn't slapped in 48 hours. Cause Your I'm like, was probably like <laughs> right, right. So, so, so the first kid and I'm calling them kids cause they're not nurses yet. Right. The first kid, the second kid, the third kid. And then finally, like, no one's just getting it right. And I'm like, stop, just stop. And I walk over there and I go, 
diaper change. This is how you do it. This is how you change a diaper. And the nurse was like, huh, you're like the first dad I've ever had. Just walk up and like nail. I'm like, this is number three. I got this down. (laughs) (laughs) This is not number one. This is number three. (laughs) So you, you, you kids need to go practice. Yeah. Like, like, Hey, there's these things called dolls. That have Mm -hmm. little doll diapers, you should go buy one. My daughter (laughs) has one. Yeah. (laughs) So no. The baby actually pees. So like they even have dolls now. I don't get that. I know. I'm like, we never we never put we never put liquid in the bottle. Like that is not no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. So just real quick, uh (laughs) the comment on the comment on the Coffee and Cookies YouTube channel says, Yes, we do. That is Lindsay. Yes. That is Lindsay that Mm -hmm. said that. Just making sure we yeah, we, well, you, you and I need to start like, hey, this mm-hmm. is Lindsay or maybe put in parentheses Nick so they understand who's who's commenting back and forth. Sure. I love this list. It's I, a I, great list. I really do like mm-hmm. this list. I, I, I actually want to take this list. And there's a so if you didn't check this website out, there's a parents, there's kids, there's teens, there's educators. Like I really like I would want to take this list and expand on it. I wouldn't want to take mm-hmm. this knit list and put a Nick a phrase on great boosting your kids self-esteem here's what you need to do yeah right speak positive because people are like well how do i do that and how there do you I go speak, how do i boost my kids self-esteem right and it does talk about it in the article you know praising accomplishments however small will make them feel proud your tone of voice your body language your expressions your facial expressions kids don't get sarcasm stop it <laughs> <laughs> Adults <laughs> don't get sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, th- this is really good. I just, I, I, I think something like this is is needed. Um, I would like to find out who the author was and ask if I could use get permission to use this in a training. Mm-hmm. And because I think this would be a great parental training, mm-hmm. and then we could have we maybe have kids health sponsored or something like that. But but give give our experiences great. Here's here's what they're saying. Now here's the action steps. This is great at telling you, giving you a little information, but yep. there's no implementation within this mm-hmm. within this. Like it touches on think this or think that, but there's no true implementation. Like of course, number three, set limits and be consistent with your discipline. Mm-hmm. Right? Great. What are your five steps of five steps of discipline? Like sitting down and actually defining this. So then you can keep yourself accountable and then you can implement, define accountability and then implement. I got to write that down. D-A-I. Hold on. I got to write that down. Go ahead. Keep going. Part of, I think what you need to have in in part of your training is actually helping parents develop their preset responses. Ooh, that's so good. Because that's where, that's where, you know, and even role playing it. I mean, (laughs) if you're going to have a workshop... Because it's it's great to have it. Are oh, you, what was I gonna say? Like what what was that? Man, I it was so good. But once you practice it, it becomes ingrained. And it gives a parent an opportunity, like if you have two parents, it gives an opportunity for each of them to be like, Oh, how did that make me feel? How did that make you feel when you said Are you ready for this? This, this is going to hit, the, the, uh, someone's going to feel called out. So, so I just, I'm letting you know right now. So someone's about to feel called out. Okay. That's Nick's job on this show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dustin gave a little strong. Dustin's watching. I love, I love the fact that your husband's watching. Um, how does it make you feel when your spouse, when you try to have a conversation with your spouse and your spouse is on their phone? Mm. Like, seriously, I'm guilty of this. I have, I know, I know that I have caused stress in my own marriage Mm -hmm. because I didn't put this down. This is why, like, I try to consciously, okay, I'm home. I'm taking this while I change clothes into play clothes. I'm putting this on the charger. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it out of my area of reach because, and, and, and Amber will flat out tell you, like, a contentious point was me always working and always on this Mm -hmm. and not giving her the time and attention that she needed. Mm. Okay. But it's something that you've realized. I, I identified it. Or you heard her when she said it. <laughs> no, no, no. It actually it actually wasn't her that said it. I was listening to um I was listening to uh, just a speaker uh-huh. and he was talking about uh being present. Mm-hmm. 
And it was like, you know, when, when, when you're at your kid's game, put your phone down. When your spouse is talking to you, put your phone down and be present in the moment. And, and it, that, that's what actually hit me of, oh my goodness, I'm not doing this. What am I missing out on? Right. You know, yes, this is great at bringing other people into my life, but at the end of the day, who, who am I missing out on that's currently standing right in front of me? Oh, didn't we have a good meme or something like we did. that a few days ago? We did. A few weeks ago, we maybe. We did. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Go find it. <laughs> 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 good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so let's yeah. let let's go ahead. We've we've we, we've gone some we've got we've taken this airplane through some ups and downs. Let's land this plane, okay? <laughs> and, Amber, Amber's like I'm done with the conversation when he gets on his phone. <laughs> no, she does. She does. And 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 not only not only she does the conversation like like she ha like I can feel the negative energy mm -hmm. when she's done. Mm -hmm. I can yep. feel it. It's like, it's like, oh, I messed up. Mm -hmm. And unlike me, when Amber gets that negative of I'm done, <laughs> where Nick is like, oh, my goodness, I'm so sorry. We put this down. Let's fix it. And move forward. She's yeah. like, no, I still need to process through this. Like, mm -hmm. because because I hurt her. Right. I, I didn't do it intentionally, but I hurt her. I, 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 I unconsciously. I felt it in the force. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan, that's so good, brother. I, I, con I unconsciously told her this was more important than my own wife. Mm -hmm. And that hurt her. I deserve that negative. And because, you know, it's so funny. People actually don't even realize they don't put that feeling into words of like, why does that hurt? Why did that bother me that you got on your phone? They don't, they don't even know to bring that thought process and process through it and be like, oh, it's because you subconsciously told me, not intentionally, but subconsciously you said this was more important. Or who, whoever, and, and understand it's sometimes not the phone, it's whoever you're having the conversation with. Mm -hmm. who, who are you having the conversation with on that device that is more important than the people that are right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Now, hear me on this, okay? I own a small business. There are just some times that I have to take phone calls. There are just some times I have to be on the phone. I own a, I own a marketing agency. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Marketing doesn't start. Go only go from nine to five, right? Right. So sometimes that happens. But I set the expectation. Amber, there's a situation going on right now. I have to handle this. And then I'll put my phone down. Mm -hmm. Right. And do I do that perfectly every time? No, I don't. But, but I've grown because I, because I've identified it, right. Mm -hmm. I've defined it. I understand that I've, I've unconsciously, I've not, not unconsciously, I've not perf purposefully hurt my wife, but I still did. Right. Okay. So now I'm working on the definement of it on the front end. Amber, I have to have my phone on me right now. There's something going on. I might have to get on this right now. Here we go. Let's go back to the actual, great, I put my phone down. I'm ready to engage with my wife now, but you want to know what? I've hurt her feelings. So guess what I need to do? I'm a visionary. I'll snap back like that. She's an integrator. No, she, she needs a process through it, right? Mm -hmm. And when you hurt someone, and maybe, you know, let's delete the visionary integrator side. When you've hurt someone, you need to give them a little time to process through it. Maybe it's three to five minutes. Right. But you still need to allow that. And are you ready for this? You need to apologize. And for those of you that got hurt, you need to say, I forgive you. Ooh, so good. Yeah. And you, Cause you, you, you have to finish that loop. It's not for them though. It's for you. Correct. Because when you say that you need, it's emotionally, you're emotionally needing to let go of it and release it. Otherwise, it's still there. It's still there, even though they apologized. Yeah, you could still be harboring that inside mm -hmm. of you and, mm -hmm. you know, adding to that pot and then eventually it's going to blow up. But saying, I forgive you, intentionally doing that allows you to just whoosh. Yeah, you, you, you release mm -hmm. it. You release it and watch it. If you've never done that, the first time you say, 
I forgive you. Mm -hmm. It's going to feel like a waterfall just like exited your body. It's going to, it's actually going to feel weird. It is. Yeah. I, I, I remember the, I remember the first time I did this and it was just like, whoa, like, oh, wow. Like I released that. And then I was like, oh, I probably need to release that. Oh, uh-huh. oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but here we go. Right. It, uh, under, understand who we're talking about here. I'm not saying the reason why it's so important that you finish this circle is that's who you've chosen to do life with. Mm-hmm. Okay. If, if you say, I'm sorry, but that other person never says, I forgive you. Or they say, oh, it's okay. No, 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 no. Ugh. That's not, that's not the same thing. Yeah. It's that's, not. that's not saying I forgive you. Mm-hmm. Is what completes the circle. Yep. Not it's okay. Not don't worry about it. Not yep. whatever little quote you want to say. Mm-hmm. It's I forgive you. That's what completes the circle. And now both of you can move forward. Go ahead. What you got? Uh, it just that completes the circle. It just made me think of not uh, an appropriate movie. I don't want to know. I know. Keep it I rated know. G here. Yeah. We're talking to parents here, okay? <laughs> and maybe some kids will watch at some point in time and go, man, I wish my parents would have yeah, learned a that beginner. Yeah, it's a circle. <laughs> no corners. <laughs> no if corners. You, if you know what that is, that's... I have no idea. That's, that's I just, just whoop, don't. just whoop, <laughs> just whoop, just whoop, do the whoopie de whoop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for joining us. We went a little Goodness. long today, but you know what? That was, it was needed. It was some hey, good conversation. So just to recap... There are things that you can do to be an effective parent. I know we, we tried to recap. We and then tried we just to recap. Going. Go. No, I'm glad <laughs> you're doing this. You go can do to be more effective as a parent, but understand you're not perfect and your expectation shouldn't be to be perfect. Just be excellent. Have a growth mindset. You know what? I messed up there. Own it. Move forward from it. Don't try go. to, you know, have this facade because your kids see that too. And they know when you mess up, they do, they can see when you mess up and you are teaching them one way or another, how to handle their mess ups. So if you want them to own their mess up, you own your mess up. There you go. That was good. I love it. Love (laughs) her. And on that. So, Hey, thank you guys for joining us this morning. If you're listening Mm -hmm. to us over here on on our podcast, come join us over on Facebook and YouTube. I know the links are in the description. So, we love you guys. Guess what? We've already prayed positive over you today. Yep. You know, we started our morning with prayer, which is always a great way to start your morning. Right. And, and one of those prayers was you guys. Mm-hmm. And we want to just pray positive over you, wins over you, and just to just send those prayers and just send that greatness, send, send a little bit we can do your way. Thank you guys for joining us and being in the comments. By you guys being in the comments and liking the video, that's how we know you're here. Other than that, it just tells us a number. Yep. Okay. So it's just thank you guys for doing that. And um, if you do, if you do, we could say hi to you, right? That's how we know that Dustin's here, yep. which is your husband. That's how we get know, to know I Amber here. He Amber's here, and Nolan's here, and you know Steve is here, and just you know the people that the Gary's here. Gary's here, mm-hmm. right? So yep. thank you guys for being in the comments and liking the video. Come join us if you're if you're listening to this on our our podcast channels. And today we want you to make sure that you rise up and crush it. Bye, Bye, y'all.